Am I the asshole for not inviting my sister's fiancé to my graduation party? So my 22F sister, 24F, recently got engaged to a guy she's been seeing for about a year and a half. Let's call him David. I've never liked David. Literally from the moment my sister brought him home to meet us for the first time, every single one of us disliked him. He was just a very rude guy who didn't seem to have any manners at all. Literally the first time I met him, he said my sister got all the looks in the family as a joke. My sister stopped telling me anything about him because she knew I don't like him and will probably talk shit. But three months ago or so, we found out he cheated on her with his ex who also happens to be the mother of three of his kids. She packed her stuff and left him for about a day. Although I was devastated for her, I was so happy she found the strength to leave him and know she deserved better. Literally not even 24 hours later, he proposed to her, gave her a speech about how much he loves her and can't see his life without her, and she cried of joy and said yes. Sigh. Anyway, I'm having my graduation party in two weeks. My sister called to ask what she wanted, them, to bring me as a gift. I asked her who, them, was as I already previously told her I never wanted to be around her fiancé. I thought it would be obvious I wouldn't want him at my graduation party. The last time I saw him, we had a fight because my sister sent him to pick something up from my house, but he was busy, so he sent his friend. A friend who I literally exposed for stalking me when I was in high school. He used to harass me to date him and would literally drive to my high school to stare at me for a while, then leave. I had so much anxiety for so many years because of him. David knew damn well this guy used to stalk me when I was in high school, but he still sent him to my house and now that asshole has my address. When I called him out, he said I was being dramatic and that I like making a big deal out of everything. Anyway, I told my sister I don't want him at my graduation party. She said I was being unreasonable, and that I should understand they come as a pair now. I told her that's completely fine, and that the pair of them can simply not attend my party then. She said I was being a bitch and that after all we've been through as sisters, I'm, letting hate win. I feel like I'm quite justified in not wanting him to attend to be honest. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for spraying water in my wife's face to wake her up? My wife sleeps like a rock every night. She gets in this very deep sleep and nothing can disturb it. When our twins were babies, she never heard them cry during the night. It didn't bother me until recently. She decided that she was going to wake up early every day as a part of a self-care routine. She sets up a thousand alarms every 10 minutes from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. She doesn't hear any of them. I, however, am awake since the first alarm at 5 a.m. I wake her up and I can't fall back asleep so I toss and turn until I have to get up for work. She doesn't wake up immediately after I talk to her. I have to shake her and talk to her constantly until she's up and I don't mind doing that at 7 a.m. but 5 a.m. is simply cruel. This has been going on for two weeks and I am exhausted. Yesterday, I decided I had enough of this bullshit and when her first alarm went off, I took my water bottle and sprayed water on her face. She was awake instantly, turned off her torture device, phone, and I could go back to sleep. She didn't say anything so I did it again this morning. She's apparently furious because it's extremely rude to splash her with water, not once but twice. I think it's also extremely rude to keep me sleep deprived but she disagrees. Edit. 1. She hasn't seen a doctor for it, it has never bothered either one of us. Someone said it might be an ADHD symptom, my wife has ADHD. 2. I expressed hating being up too early but I haven't warned her about the water, I didn't think the water through. 3. Separate rooms seem to be our solution. And hash x200b. Update. I told my wife she was internet famous and she read a lot of the comments. She doesn't want to go to a doctor but she agreed that waking up at 5 a.m. wasn't sustainable. She's going to switch her self-care routine to 8 a.m. She apologized, I apologized and we've avoided torturing each other. Am I the asshole for not forcing my daughters into twin stereotypes? So I, M35, have identical twin daughters, 12. My sister, F31, has always been really into twins especially because of how big Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen were in the 90s. So she always gets my daughters matching stuff, or the exact same thing but in different colors. 
and has never put into consideration that they're different people with different personalities. Now I'll admit my daughters are very similar and have similar interest but that doesn't mean they want to be considered a package deal and dress identical like little baby dolls. So yesterday she took them to get a pedicure and get some sandals for a upcoming huge family vacation thing we're doing. Well my daughters refused to get matching sandals my sister was disappointed. I told her I didn't blame them they would get their shoes mixed up if they were exactly the same. And my sister huff and said I never want them to match. And I told her no I don't treat them like stereotypical twins who need to be matching and best friends. And then told her it's probably a good thing she doesn't have twins because they wouldn't be able to form her personality. She didn't say anything but my mom texting me saying it was wrong for me to say what I said to her but I said that yeah it was probably stepping out of line but my girls don't need to fill everyone's twins fantasy. My sister hasn't talked to me so, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for calling my fiancé a jerk? My, 28F, fiancé, 38M, proposed to me last week, we've been dating for two years, he has a 15-yo daughter from a previous marriage, her mom passed again five years ago and I have a 6-yo son. When my fiancé and I started to date, I noticed that his daughter had the master bedroom, I found it weird because I've never seen a child taking over the master bedroom before, but he brushed it off saying that the house was, hers, so it was normal she slept there, with no further explanation. I thought he meant as an inheritance from when he passed away which still was weird because he was alive. But either way, I didn't say anything because we were only beginning and I knew it wasn't my business. Now that we're engaged, I said that I wanted to move here to live together for a while before we decided the wedding date. He said that we could do it or we could get our own house now because we will have to do it regardless. I asked what was wrong with this one and he said nothing but that it was her daughter's, to be honest now I did get a little mad. I said it wasn't fair he called it his daughter's when we were about to get married and he was supposed to adopt my son, so now the house should be theirs and not only hers. I also said I wanted his daughter out of the master because it was ours. He got a little nervous and said that the house really belonged to his late wife and when she passed, the house became his daughter's. He has enough money for maybe 60% of a house, but that we will have to pay off the rest together. I was shocked and said that he could ask her daughter for the house because she's only 15 and he is her dad but he said no, that it was her daughter's. I got angry and called him a jerk because he should have told me the truth before and he said that it's not like we will be homeless or anything, we still have 3 years and maybe 4 after that because his daughter will leave for college, he said he has always known he has to move out and that's why he saved. I asked what else belonged to his daughter that I didn't know of and he said that his car, a 2020 Kia. The car that I always use will be hers when she leaves for college. I called him a jerk again and left with my son to my parents' house.